right, boys and girls, this is a portrait of Faith Ringel, the author and illustrator of Tar Beach, in front of one of her quilt squares. In this quilt, can you see Cassie flying over the George Washington Bridge? What do you think that symbolizes? Years ago, quilts were actually used to help slaves fly to freedom. Patterns in the quilts conveyed secret messages to guide escaping slaves to the north. Here's an example of a freedom quilt. Boys and girls, today we are going to plan our own quilt square and we're going to put a sentence in there. If I could fly, I would fly over and you decide where you'd like to fly over. And we're going to start with pencil, we're going to make it a square, and we're going to try and make our artwork look like a quilt square. Now you have to think of an idea. Here are some student examples. So boys and girls, we are going to make a quilt square similar to Faith Ringgold's where the young girl is flying over the city in Harlem, in New York. So, my space is really dirty and I have stains from watercolors, but that's okay. So boys and girls, a quilt is usually in a square. And what we generally have for paper is a rectangle. So we're gonna change this rectangle into a square. And boys and girls, it's really simple. Take the bottom, like you take the bottom corner and you bring it up, up, up to the top. Not all the way over, almost all the way over. So going up, 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 up. Oh, that's perfect. You can see there's a little extra piece of paper right here. I'll do that again. Take the top. Go up, and it, you're going to see that it creates this triangular shape. And press. Now you have this strip at the end that you're going to cut off. If by chance you can't manage this, you can work in a rectangle. But it's a good thing to learn how to make a square with a rectangular piece of paper. This is the extra. This is what made it a rectangle. Now it's even, and it is an even square. Now you take the seam, or the fold, and you kind of fix the fold. All right, now I have a square. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. So boys and girls, when we're creating this quilt square, we're gonna draw a little line from one edge all the way to the other, with maybe like a half an inch. You can just carefully draw it over. Top, we're making a border. I'm gonna do that again with the other edge. We're gonna do this all four corners, all the way across. I'm turning my paper so I don't have to move my arm too much. All the way across. And last side of the square. So that's the fourth side. All the way across. Now, boys and girls, we're going to be adding color here. We might want to break up the space into little, little lines making these tiny little rectangles. And we could color these in different colors. Just like you would see on a quilt. There might be additional designs on the edges, just like on Faith Ringgold's book, Tar Beach. You can see all these beautiful, beautiful decorations and pieces of fabric all the way around the edges. All right, now, if I could fly, I would fly over, I might fly over my parents' house, but... If I could fly, I might fly over the ocean. 
we have to think about where we might fly. If I could fly, I might fly, I really think over the ocean. So I might have water here and some whales and beautiful ocean scene. I think details with oceans. Or maybe you're going to fly over the city of New York yourself or over the Eiffel Tower, over Disneyland. It's your choice. But we've got to draw ourselves flying. So you want to probably add your head. Here's my head. We're using pencil so we can erase if we need to. Here's my the top of my hair. And then I'm going to have some hair on the side. There's my face. I'm going to give myself eyes. You can work on yours. Eyebrow I've added eyebrows. Eyes. My nose. And of course, my mouth. And our mouth has, we can show our lips, the lower lip and the upper lip. And there I am. I have such a long face in here. I'm going to erase this face and make it a little smaller. It's nice to use pencil because you can change things a little bit. Here I am. And my hair would probably be messier if I was flying over the ocean. <laughs> and here, my eyelashes. I'm going to leave some details to finish later. And I'm going to make my body going this direction. So I'm just going to draw a really light line because I'm flying over the ocean or over the city. I don't know quite where you're going to add yourself. Let's see. But I want my body to move this way. So I'm going to have to have maybe two lines over for my shirt. Here's my shirt. And maybe in this picture, I'm going to be wearing a little skirt. And one leg will be going here, one leg will be going there. And I want my arms to be kind of down. Your arms could be up like a superhero. I'm just drawing these little lines so I can sort of decide where I want my hands. Maybe one hand will be here, one hand will be there. And that's why I do this little line so I know I can erase this line. But you draw yourself up in the sky. And I might make some stripes here, some fun designs, polka dots on my shirt, my foot. Here's my leg. And here's my other leg with my shoe and another shoe. So here I am with my boots still. <laughs> Flying over. Hmm. I do want to put my arms out here. So I'm erasing and kind of figuring out where do I want my arms? I could have them at my sides a little bit here. Maybe I'll put one here. One arm. And I have to figure out where I want the other one. One, two, three, four, five for my fingers. I could have my arm on the other side, maybe. There we go. Okay. Now, you can see I keep correcting what I'm doing. Okay. So my arm is here, my hand is here, and I am flying over somewhere I'd like to fly. So I'm going to add the water for the ocean. Okay, I've decided on the ocean, and I think I'm going to put a whale here or some fish. Let's see, I want to have my whale showing his little tail but I want him under the water a little bit. And here's his little face and his blowhole. Maybe he's spraying water out. I cannot wait to see where you're flying over. Maybe I'll 
You have his little eyes here going through the ocean. And the water might spout out. Now somewhere I want to add the sentence and I want you to add the sentence. If I could fly, and I really don't have a very good marker over here. If I could fly, I would, I'm going to have to redraw some of this. I would fly over the oceans or the ocean. I have to pick one. Well, I'll just say the ocean. If I could fly, I would fly over the ocean. And yours might say, if I could fly, I would fly over 95th Street School. Or if I could fly, I would fly, bo excuse me, fly over Great America. And then you could have all these wonderful roller coasters. If I, got, if I could fly, I would fly over hmm, the city of Milwaukee. All right, boys and girls. Now I'm going to start outlining a little bit so I can add color. There's going to be one rule with this. We're not leaving white space. You have to fill it in. You can use any drawing materials you'd like. And this is the border edge of my quilt square. And now I'm going to start adding details and I hope you're doing the same. All right, boys and girls, we'll get to work and we're going to fill in the square and the edges. This is going to take some time and we're not going to leave white space. This may take a few sessions or at least two. Okay, enjoy yourselves. Be creative.